Greetings ladies and gentlemen. Today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a personal scoreboard in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Not gonna lie, it's kind of a convoluted command. It looks a little complicated when you see it in the command block, but in this video I'm going to try to put your fears at rest here, and let's just get straight into it. So, we have four steps here. Well, not really four steps, but we're going to get a bigger personal scoreboard with each command block. So let's just start off simple with just text. You just want text to be shown. So this would be the command. Title roll at A, action bar, opening curly bracket, quotations, blah blah blah. If I said all of that, I would probably hate myself for the rest of the day. So this command right here is just adding text. So if we turn this command block on, turn it to always active, boom, as you can see, it just says your stuff. This is the very least, this is like the most basic you could get a personal scoreboard. And I say scoreboard in air quotes because it's not really a scoreboard. You're not tracking anything. It just says your stuff. This is just a convoluted action bar. This is all, you can get this by just putting title at a action bar and then adding your own text and you can get it way more easier than this. So that's the just the text so let's turn that off now going into the actual scoreboard segment here this is going to be text and one objective so prepare yourself here it's going to be title at a action bar raw text and then as it says your stuff you can see a backslash and an n money score name objective money so this right here is going to show the text and it's going to be tracking money, as you can see at the bottom. But before we can properly track money, we're going to have to add a scoreboard for it. We have to track it in some way. So we can have slash scoreboard objectives add money, dummy, money. And just like that, we added the new objective money. So this means we can actually properly track money, if I can make a command block off to the side here. As you can see, it's tracking money. This is just a test. So if I turn this command on, you can see it's now properly tracking money. This is the scoreboard objective that it requires to track the objective. Without that, it won't work and it'll just be dead. It'll be a dead scoreboard, basically. But that's besides the point. Let's turn this off here. And now we're going to get a little bit more complicated. We're going to go to text and to objectives here. As you can see, the your stuff text and the money objective still exist. But now we're adding an objective called prestige. I'm going to show you how to add a new objective. So in this command block right here, you can see there's a closed bracket and a closed curly bracket. Those two characters right here. Those two finish off the syntax for the command block. This is what makes it run. Without those two characters it will not run because you have not properly closed the curly brackets. So let's turn it off. So if you want to add a new objective what you can do is you get rid of the close bracket and the close curly bracket. You add a comma and then you add everything past that comma. So a comma, opening curly bracket, text, prestige, blah, 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 blah. And once you added that objective, you can close it off with another closed bracket and a closed curly bracket. I hope that made sense. It probably doesn't. There's no real easy way to explain adding another objective to a personal scoreboard. It's complicated. It's hard to learn. And I don't expect you to go through this video in one shot expecting to know everything about this. It's a difficult command. I'm not necessarily the best at teaching commands. So with this command, it's going to do everything this command does, but adding prestige. Like that. Boom. It's now tracking money and prestige. So, once again, let's add the objective, which would be this. Prestige... Dummy. Prestige. 
And there we go, the new objective of Prestige has been added, so it can properly track Prestige. And just like that, it is properly tracking Prestige. Once again, I want to reiterate, it is essential that you do, that you add the objective. If you do not add the objective, it'll be a dead scoreboard, it will not be able to track. So, on to the final step. This is going to be the biggest example I have. It's going to be a large command, but if you can master this command, you'll be set, at least in my opinion. So here we are. It's a lot. So you have the title of your stuff, you have the money objective, you have the prestige objective, but now we have two more. We have kills and we have death. So as you can see, we have a backslash and an N before each objective. So we have backslash N money, backslash N prestige, backslash N K, which K is going to be just a shortened version for kills, but we do not have it for D, which is going to be short for deaths. So what the backslash N does is all it does is it separates the lines. So for example, if I can turn this on, whoops, not that. So as you can see, the backslash N separates it into lines. So as you can see, backslash N gives each objective a new line, except for the K and D, because since I did not give D a backslash N, it's going to look like this instead of this. So if you want to separate an objective into a new line, put a backslash N before it and then it'll sort itself out into a new line. So, I hope you guys are slightly more informed about how personal scoreboards work. Probably not. I could have gone the easy route and just showed you one command and said, yeah, do it. But that's kind of boring because I know more people are going to have less stuff to track or more stuff to track. Like, sometimes people only want to track money, all right? And that's, that's fine. I have stuff that only tracks one objective too. But with this complicated of a command, it's kind of hard to just sh show one thing and expect people to know everything about it. Once again, I don't know how I did teaching you guys. It's kind of all over the place. I I'm not really a good teacher. And on top of me not being a good teacher, this command is super complicated. I mean, just, dude, look at that. That's, that's a lot. That's like pure brain rot. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope I taught you something new. I hope you guys can go out and use your brand new sparkly personal scoreboards. And I shall see you in the next video. Maybe. Possibly. We'll see.